What's up, new gen? You're here with Cooper and these are 10 things I would never lend to a friend. And you're watching new gen. I feel like I have to do it the other way. All right, first item on the list, training log. This thing, not gonna lie, don't actually use it that much. 2021 summer and fall log. I had to trick out the front a little bit. Got the Eugene Nest, they always hook it up. My boy, Lil Carlos. Gotta keep him close to my heart. And classic, what is this? Oregon preview. This is probably from like three years ago. But yeah, training log number one, starting August 2nd. Central item number two, skate three. I never was one of those little Minecraft kids that like stole their mom's credit card and paid for stuff in game, but there was one time that I did. I don't think she knows about it. I think it went unnoticed because it's only like $10, but I bought a new skate park in this and I remember I was in my pants because I thought my mom was going to find out and make me return it, which I don't even think is a thing on here. But, oh man, I spent probably way too much time playing this game. There's a challenge in this one. It's called Hollow Meat. It's basically you just try to hurt yourself. And there was one time where me and my friend Grant played for like six hours trying to just uh, jump off a ship and hit our on the on like a railing in in the game in the game this this video game has got me through a lot of times did I bring the actual game no I would never risk actually scratching this it's too important next essential everyone wears them got to be the shoes I think uh, there's a lot of people that claim they're sneaker heads and whatnot I would not say I'm one of those people um, like dunks, dunks are just coming back in style. I don't really care. If they're cool, I'll buy them. But if not, like Carter, I have to shout out Carter Christian. He gave me these after I ran 350. I don't know, I've been getting a little more into them and I think now signing with Nike, I think, you know, my collection's gonna grow just a little bit. And it's cool because I feel like I've always been like in love with like the newest like big Nike shoes. And now having it be my job to run for Nike and, and having the opportunity to like maybe get some exclusive access to some shoes that I wouldn't get before. I think it's a, uh, you know, I'm definitely going to take advantage of that. So if anyone needs to plug, I didn't get them for you. I thought I'd bring in two of my favorite artists, uh, Earl Sweatshirt and Swiss People. Um, shout out to Angus for this. Uh, but yeah, no, these are, I think music is definitely a big part of my day. You know, just going to class and having your little main character moment when you're listening to your favorite song. I like to have I like to have hard copies of stuff. I have a little DVD collection as well. Carter kind of put me onto that. Um, and so like having having vinyls I think is is really cool and especially just the artwork aspect of it. Swiss Mountain Music I think probably would have been in my top five artists for or my top five albums of the year for sure uh, if it had my spins on the on the record player, but for now, we're just gonna appreciate it. Great study music, um, great place. And Earl Sweatshirt, um, I mean, he just doesn't miss. If we could play East in the background of this real quick, that would be awesome. <laughs> and I thought I'd just bring in a couple of my favorite vinyls. The next one's not very glamorous, but every runner needs it. A good water bottle. I think hydrating is probably my kryptonite in terms of running. That might be half the reason that I had to go for a little crawl out in Tallahassee. Water bottle, essential. Next up, the watches. I used to be a big, big old school guy. I would rock the Timex. I had my favorite one. I think I got this at Target for like $9. I think it's for like eight to 10 year old girls, um, but it seems to fit my wrist like a glove. And I used to write, I used to actually write my times. I think they're all faded the times that I wanted to run on here. I see, I wrote down 354, and that year I ran 355, so I got pissed off, and I think that's half the reason I stopped using this. I think it's the simplicity factor that I really liked about it, but I think the second that I heard about Strava is when I had to pick up a Garmin. I had, I had my Garmin for like eight years, but I just refused to, refused to use it. And finally, I, Garmin had to pull through and drip me out a little bit. If, uh, I don't know, shout out to whoever won the Garmin giveaway, the new gen Garmin. Donovan Jantz. Lucky man, cause this thing, this thing does wonders. It makes me feel really good when I do a run and then I post it and a lot of people give me kudos on it. 
this this thing does wonders. Shout out to Garmin. Um, I'll probably use this for the next 10 years until it's time for a new one, and then I will have someone buy me one. Tech Deck. There's something so simple about a Tech Deck, but it brings me so much joy. This one's actually broken. Um, if anyone has a Tech Deck tool and they could bring it to like some indoor meet, um, let me know because I really need to put this wheel back on. That would make my life a lot easier. I would actually say this is one of the mo more important essentials. Um, I feel like it keeps me humble. You know, those days where you just don't land anything, that's okay. And it, it also, I don't know, brings me back to my roots. It makes me feel nostalgic when I, when I whip the tech deck out, the new gen shorts. People don't really know about these yet. They're, they're pretty exclusive. I think there's two prototypes. This is definitely the better one. I think Reed has the other pair right now, but I wouldn't actually bring these on here if I didn't like them, but they're legit like the best shorts that I've worn in a while. We, we were at the, the rec center hooping the other day and I got like three compliments on them. And I think they're, they're a retro yet modern take on the short. Um, this is personally my favorite aspect of them. Um, makes me look super caked up. And I mean, who doesn't love just a lightning bolt branding right across it? So um, I think, I mean, just look at, you, you don't find stuff like this anywhere. And except for on Alibaba. You guys aren't, I don't think you guys are ready for the, the first new gen drop of, of gear. Cause you guys are gonna wanna pick these up. I'm gonna grab my, these are a great gift, a great stocking stuffer. Um, for probably next year. <laughs> um, they're not coming out anytime soon, but for now you guys can admire them on my body because I wear them almost every day. January. January, you think so? Yeah. Not a chance they're out by January. Yeah, yeah, they'll be out by January. Okay, you should get these ones though. Yeah. I've been wear testing all of them. Not gonna lie, there was a couple pairs that sucked and that's why Reed has them. <laughs> but for now, I have the, the one pair in existence that is just, I think glasses are an underrated combination to put with a fit. I think they can put it over the top, depending on how you style them. They can also look so horrible. Um, I think you have to have a classy, a classy pair. Um, these are the, just says China. Uh, these are the China model with the flame flames on the lenses. I think these are good when you wanna go fast. I like to wear these during uh, big workouts. Uh, just to get the confidence up, really. The flames on the side are really indicative of what I'm trying to do. So, uh, might be racing in these sometime soon. I'm not sure. Um, not sure if they're a Nike affiliate yet. But for now, these are these are one of my go-to pairs. They're a little broken, actually. But we'll fix that later. These I took from the Oregon training room. They are H&M. Um, often I find my glasses uh, outside on the ground and stuff. Um, but I think that's what uh, what makes them unique to me is I let them find me rather than going and picking them out myself. Going to class, if I put these on, I'm, I'm looking directly at you, but you don't know that behind the lenses. My last essential, probably the most important, new generation track and field magazine. I mean, cover to cover to cover it's I think this is probably the best issue to come out it's crazy to see the progression like I remember when we got the first edition of the first magazine they felt like <laughs> they like honestly the articles needed a lot of work um, even just the layout was a little bit all over the place and this like if I saw this in the store I would pick it up for sure I feel like the aesthetic has come like miles from where it was this is it's getting longer too. Like you're actually getting what you pay for and it's cheaper now, right? $10. 10, 10 bucks and you get to have this with you for the rest of your life. And I think the coolest part is that like everyone involved in writing it is like actually involved in new gen. Like all the campers from uh, our new gen camp over the summer, like have articles in here. Um, and just people who are like really, I think the coolest part is it's just people who are excited about new gen um, and really like want to write and I think that's what makes it so good. I I was a little skeptical about some of the past issues, but like I've never been more excited about this. I'm gonna pick up a couple. Good, again, good stocking stuffers. What's not in here? Some new gen fan fiction. Just music recommendations from Carter Christman himself. I mean, what? What's not in here? But this is this is actually an essential. It's crazy to see how far it's come, and I'm honored to be 
on the cover and this cover. Shout out to Lil Rub for possibly the coolest photo ever taken and developed. These kids, man, they are indeed the new generation. Thanks for tuning in with me for some of my favorite items. Comment who you want to see next down below. Get yourself an issue of the New Gen Magazine dropping today. And uh, send it to all your friends. Who do you want to see next? What else should I get in my essentials? Who knows? Maybe I'll have to come back with a part two. But don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And with that, we're out of here.